So just a warning for my big hair girls, this is not big hair friendly, okay? You ain't gonna be able to wear this one. <laughs> Welcome back, this is your girl Miko, and I am back with another wig review. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the crew, and if you like what you see in this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. So like this video and leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And child, the struggle was real with this unit, but I'm gonna show you how we went from this to this. Reviewing Alpha Woman by Sensational. It is part of their Curls, Kinks, and Co line. And this is what she looks like. This color is bomb, right? I know. That's why I got this wig. Love the color and I love the texture. This is what the stock card looks like. You can see it's for my 3B and 4C girls. And this is the inside, gives you all the specs. That picture on the left actually looks cute. And it comes in multiple colors. Now this comes with two combs in the front. This is a T part, so this is a single part unit. There is no free parting space. And it also comes with a comb in the back plus your adjustable straps. But I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like installed and right out of the pack. So even if you try to smooth down this little poofy area here, it looks like it's going to continue to poof. Yeah up just a little bit now from the back it actually looks pretty darn good but I'm still gonna have to do something with the front so yeah I'm just a little disappointed that I cannot just wear the side of the house so I'm just gonna work my magic and see what I can do with her because she needs a little bit of help right now the hot comb didn't get this hair as flat and as straight as I wanted it to be, so I ended up going in with my flat iron to get the look that you'll see in the video. lay this unit with the Evan adhesive spray now this is the active version for an extreme firm hold and I like this a lot better than got to be it doesn't tighten up on your edges like the got to be does it normally gives me a headache uh, but this has a nice firm hold and it dries matte and it also washes out easily with water now if you want to try this the trial version is only three dollars now this is my second layer. So I applied two layers to really get it to melt into the skin. And you only have to let this sit for about 30 to 60 seconds to get tacky uh, before applying the unit. So it gets tacky really fast. And you can see the struggle is real trying to pull this down over my edges. So I wish the cap was a little bit bigger um, just for a more comfortable fit and easier application. But I made it work. And of course, I'm just gonna tie this down and let it sit for about maybe 15 minutes to really get the lace to melt into the skin. And although it hurts, there's nothing I wouldn't do. But I am I'll play, I'll play, but I don't mind no, mind no, I All right, guys, so this is what uh, she looks like after I flat ironed her. I had to flat iron this unit because the hot comb was not getting it as straight as I wanted it to be. And I'll tell you guys, this wig gave me some issues, you guys, but I worked it out. <laughs> All right, so let me just first uh, give you some specs on this unit. So this is the Alpha Woman by Sensational. It is a part of their Curls, Kinks, and Co line. I got it in the color Flamboyage Blonde, which I absolutely love. Oh my God, I just cannot say how much I love this color. It's one of the things I love about this unit. I'm telling you, I always love the ombre. I love the dark root because I think it just blends better with my natural hair. And just tell me this Flamboyage color job is not like bomb. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Look at this right here. Look at this. Right. Sensational did their doggone thing with this 
color i'm telling you and i love the kinky uh blowout texture looks like i went to the salon got my hair blown out and this might be my hair you, you know i kind of laid it up there you know so you just might not know this is not my hair but that's one of the benefits of having the 4c texture units is they just look more natural and uh, they said this is ear to ear soft lace. I would not really say the lace is soft. So now that I have it installed, it's not irritating at all to my skin, but it's not really soft to the touch. I have felt softer lace on other units before. And it also says that this, hot, this uh, unit is hot water set. So you can hot water set this unit, uh, which is good because I did try to bump the ends with my curling iron, just right up here where the layers are, just to kind of give it some body and it would not hold a curl at all. So if you want some curls in this unit, you are definitely going to have to hot water set it. And this unit also came with baby hairs, which is good. I really didn't use too many of the baby hairs. I know I'm not really a baby hair girl you know first of all I'm 51 so you know the baby hairs we ain't, we ain't got no baby hairs going on here so but anyway I did a little bit of swoop here you know just to kind of blend it in and soften soften it up at the top but I didn't really use the baby hairs too much but they are there if you need them and it says you can wear this unit in an updo so you know I had to try it Look y'all, I can wear my hair down like this when I'm going out or if I wanna be extra sexy, but for every day running errands in this Atlanta heat, I need my hair pulled back away from my face and up off of my shoulders because this humid humidity down here is straight up disrespectful, okay? But the updo turned out really cute. I was surprised because normally you cannot wear an updo with a wig unless it is a 360. So shout out to Sensational for giving us some options with this unit. I appreciate you, Sensational. I appreciate you. So let me tell you off the bat, this unit is not big hair friendly. I had a really hard time getting it to fit over my edges so the edges would look flawless and I don't even have a big head, okay? So just a warning for my big hair girls, this is not big hair friendly, okay? You ain't gonna be able to wear this one. <laughs> I've worn this unit for a couple of days since I did the original installation and it will kind of clump up on you after a few days. But in terms of the hair being hard, I don't think it's particularly hard. And I'm also not experiencing much shedding. You probably um, can see maybe a few strands on my shirt. I don't really see any, but I don't see any in my lap or anything like that. So you'll get uh, a little bit of shedding, but not anything that's a deal breaker at all. So overall, I just have to say, this is not my favorite unit. It's not beginner friendly. You're gonna have to do a lot of work to get it to look good so you can wear it out of the house. And I'll tell you, this is my second day trying to style this wig and get it in a style that I liked. So for that reason, it is not my favorite unit. So I'll probably give this unit somewhere between a five and an eight. An eight definitely because of the color and the texture and then a five because of all the issues that I share in this video. All right, crew, that'll do it for this review. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you liked the video, if you thought it was helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the Fit and Fabulous crew. Also, give your girl a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you think about this unit. I know the darker colors tend to wear a, a little bit better than the lighter colors, so let me know if you tried this in any of the colors. I would really like to know your thoughts, all right? All right, crew, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you stay fit and fabulous.